Hi guys and welcome back to Switch Up. We've got our usual upcoming games list for you. Thanks so much to our Patreons and to every single one of you who subscribed and leaves comments for us to have a good old chinwag down in the comments. Yeah, we thought we'd do a bit of a collab this week and do this one together so we can share the elation or the pain of this week's upcoming games. The first game is RBI Baseball and that releases on the 5th of this month. It's $29.99 and it's a baseball game. I remember Glenn bought, I think, the last in the series and it's still in the cellophane wrap, isn't it? Yeah, apparently this one has improved ball physics. Well, the last couple of RBI games have been complete and utter ball physics, to be fair. So let's hope this one's a bit better, shall we? Lovely. You can play as 165 plus all-time greats like Jackie Robinson. You know him, Glenn, and Ted Williams or even Reggie Jackson. Mark, you don't even know about English sports, mate. Why are you trying to talk about American sports? Behave, will ya? <laughs> yeah, he's right. The next game is an interesting little title from the guys at 11-Bit Studios called Beat Cop. If this name sounds familiar to you, it's the same developers who made Moonlighter on Switch, as well as Glenn's favourite, This War of Mine. It looks a bit like an adventure game, but it could also be a little bit like a simulation. I'm not really sure. What do you reckon, Glenn? Yeah, it's an interesting one. The screenshots look really interesting, like, as Mark says, a simulation game, whereas the trailer just shows you a glorified cutscene. It's a shame that it doesn't show you a bit more gameplay. These guys haven't released a bad game on Nintendo Switch yet, so potentially one to look at. Next one coming out is Bard's Gold. This one is an action platformer that reminds me a little bit of Rogue Legacy that also came out on the Switch relatively recently. What I find interesting about this one, having not played it yet but just in terms of first impressions, is that you can choose whether to play it as a roguelite or not. If you don't play it as a roguelite you have checkpoints and more health and obviously if you do the difficulty will ramp up. Yeah it's made by a husband and wife duo and I really enjoy it when these small teams come to the Nintendo Switch and are able to still get some kind of audience. Now I'm a real sucker for 3D visuals and Glenn's probably more the retro gamer amongst the two of us. Unknown Fate is coming out on the 5th of this month and this is a mysterious puzzle game in the first person. It very much reminds me of a lot of the experiential games we've seen on Switch but the visuals, let me tell you, I've already started playing this one for review, the visuals are sublime. There's some 3D techniques here that have been lagging in big titles like Doom and Wolfenstein that are super crispy and it seems to be really reasonably priced for quite a unique title on the Switch. Next up then is the interestingly named 12 is better than 6. This appears to be a Hotline Miami type game in terms of its gameplay with a very unique pen and paper graphical style. Yeah, it reminded me a little bit of the game West of Loathing, which is actually an RPG. This is quite a different experience, but those visuals, I do enjoy it when they use the monochromatic style. We've had a quick go on this one and what I quite liked about it is that you could choose to be quite stealthy in your approach or you can go in all guns blazing and just take out your opponents or you can use a mixture of the two styles.
Okay, the next one is only on the US eShop at the moment, and it's called Elevator to the Moon Turbo Champions Edition. I bet the base Elevator to the Moon was a cracking game. This was originally a VR game, and it seems to be a mixture of first-person point-and-click adventuring and elevators that take you to the moon. Want to say anything about that, Glenn? I think that sums it up nicely, to be fair, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> The only way to kill a weed is to rip it out by its roots. And this is how I will save you. Ah, no! What have you done? You broke it! Badass Bazooka Baby Bonus! Next up then is Hard West. This one has a trailer that really does intrigue. The basic idea, by the looks of it at least, is that this is an XCOM type game with turn-based combat and what looks to be an RPG progression type system. Yeah, there's your classic gruff narrator over the top of this one. And there is a story to be had here. Apparently, I mean, I'll be honest, I've already looked at a couple of reviews of the PC version. It's not the most unique or original story, but I like the idea of a Wild West XCOM. And these visuals look lovely on Switch. This one releases on the 7th, and you can be sure we'll be reviewing it in the near future. Who do you think killed the world? Was it the Inquisitor? The Inventor? Maybe the Clairvoyant? The next game is another one that seems to only be in the US eShop at the moment, and it's the game Valley from Blue Isle Studios. This is another one of those first-person exploratory style games with some light puzzling elements. So you find yourself in the Rocky Mountains and by all accounts discover this exo suit and from there go on an adventure using your newfound skills and abilities. The thing really with this one are those visuals. My goodness, this is looking good. And I'm intrigued by the promised upgrade system on the suit and the fact that there's puzzles, enemies. It's not just one of those walk-in simulators. one it's a salt android cactus plus it's a bit like they got a dictionary and started playing darts just threw it at different words but other than that the actual game itself looks like they've put in a fair bit of effort it's not your usual shovelware let's be honest there is a lot of that on the eShop you can play with up to four players in co-op, working your way through the many levels. This is a classic twin-stick arcade-style shooter, but it had a little sprinkling of Splatoon in some of the presentation, which caught my eye. Okay, next one then, prepare yourself for this. This is the quest for the golden duck. <laughs> what to say, what to say? It's, it's, it's Pac-Man, isn't it? Let's be, let's be honest, it's Pac-Man with worse graphics than the game that came out 30 years ago. Yeah, so I mean, even if you squint at the duck on the screen, it looks like Pac-Man. Let's have a little read of the uh, blurb here, shall we? It's always fun. What we've got here? Major gameplay mechanics here, yeah, you'll like this. Run around the maze and collect all the gold while being chased by spooky monsters. That's its major <laughs> gameplay mechanic. I think, I think, I played that in an arcade a good few years ago now. £7.99 if you want it, have a look at it for yourself. <laughs> oh 
dear. I think that's the perfect place to end. Nice one, Glenn. Thank you so much for watching these videos, guys. We do appreciate the comments that you leave down below. Let us know any of these that you are going to check out yourselves. And as always, thank you to our Patreons. And for all things Switch all the time, keep it Switch up. And so the quest for a week without a garbage game goes on. Let's see if next week can be that week, shall we? Take it easy, everyone. Happy gaming. See ya. <laughs> God, dude, I'm laughing too much. Hang on. See ya. Oh,